Well, hello, my lovely Cancerians, my fellow Cancers out there. So I just did your video, and halfway through the video, cards flew onto the laptop, and when I picked them up off the laptop, it shut the video off. So it was kind of a, a blotchy video, and I was going to do a part two, but I decided to do the video over. So let's see if any of those energies come up. For anybody who's interested, if it does resonate, now these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you, so just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But the, the original video, basically, to give you a recap, was just about, and it could be love-related, these are not love readings, so if it comes up in the reading, I will read it that way, but otherwise these are just general energies, but I will be doing love readings in the middle of the month, probably in a week. I'm going to try to get it done in a week if I can. I don't know. I'm moving, so that's that's kind of, and I don't know exactly when, so that may put a you know a botch in the in the schedule. But anyways, it was about your independence. There was somebody that from the reading it looked like there was in your life that you have just completely cut out, and I mean de the death card came out. It was the Queen of Swords. You cut this person out completely, and you had the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, which to me showed me that you are independently on your own now. You're happy being by yourself and taking care of yourself. So I don't know if any of those energies in particular resonate with anyone, but that was the last reading. Let's see what comes out in this one, shall we? Oh my God, Mercury Retrograde is kicking my ass. I will tell you between my phone, the laptop, I can't even tell you. All right, Cancer. I am a Cancer myself. I am on the cusp of Leo, but I am a sun sign Cancer. Okay, here we go. Take two. The King of Cups. Well, there's Cups, Death, and the Three of Cups. All right. Well, Cancer. <laughs> I'm trying not to take too much energy from the last reading because this is a totally different one. But I am feeling some sense of emotional maturity. And you are celebrating. Whether you're going out with friends, I don't know. I don't want to bring that, that thought of that person in here. So, I, But something has ended. Something has ended. Here we go with the, the endings again, the death card. Something has ended, but it's, it's a... I mean, the death card, I mean, this is a Scorpio card, so it could have been Scorpio. Um, I can't remember if the death card came out in there or not, but um, as far as the main cards, it doesn't have to be a Scorpio, though. But the death card, something has, has ended, but now you're feeling reborn and you're celebrating. So let's move on and see what that is. A two of swords, the world, this is better energy, and the sun. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> this is much better. So maybe there was a reason why that reading got botched. Maybe that was... And Spirit said, wait, no, wrong person, <laughs> wrong sign. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, this is beautiful. This is beautiful energy, Cancer. I mean, you've got great energy between the Three of Cups, the World, and the Sun card. Um, yeah, the good things are coming for May. Get ready for that. So you may have been dealing with uh, uh, something that was not so pleasant in the recent past. However, you're moving forward into a, a, an energy that is going to make you very happy. Now, the King of Cups. So I'm still feeling some energy of making some sort of decision. And I'm hearing that you really thought about it before you made this decision. Um, you may have given someone more than their share of second chances third, fourth, fifth, whatever it is, and you finally said enough is enough and I'm done, if that is the case. But for whatever it is, it's some sort of decision you needed to think about. But with the waters behind you, you can see the water behind us. It's calm, calm waters. So, but there is some sort of decision. But in this card, it is trusting your intuition. All right, trusting that your intuition is leading you. And with, emo with this emotional maturity... That it doesn't matter what's going on around you. You've made your decision. And you're, you're sticking to that decision. With the death card. Underneath you have the world card. And the world card. Is it's the end of a cycle. This is the end of a cycle Cancer. And this is beautiful. Because this end of this cycle. Has now gone to a point where you are ready to celebrate. Go out with friends. 
And this is an energy that you've actually been waiting for in the sun card. There's no better energy than the sun card, right? And summer's coming. You know, our birthday is in the summer. So it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful energy for, for at least for a good number of you cancers in May. Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Now, you may be waiting for some communication from someone. You may be planning a trip, I'm hearing. Maybe some sort of adventure. Whatever it is, you have a new sense of energy and a new... It's like you've been revitalized. Like somebody has just injected you with more energy and more positiveness and you're feeling it and it's exuding in your life. You know, they say that when we talk about manifestation, you hear that word all the time in readings, manifestation. What that really means is if you think it can be and you believe, you believe it will be, it will be. It may not be the way you expect it to be. It may not happen when you want it to, but you can manifest that into your life. Positive will bring positive to you. And believe me, I go up and down. I've had my share of ups and downs just today. I was doing good, and then I kind of had a meltdown because this, this move is stressing me, and I'm trying to get these readings done, and, and I enjoy doing these, so I'd rather do this than try to pack and do whatever, do what I'm supposed to do. I don't like adulting. Um, so um, I wanted to do this. And... Um, you know, it's, it's, I have to remind myself the same, that don't think negative because the universe will take care of you. It will all work out the way the universe knows. And it has. I mean, there's been a lot of things that have happened in my life that didn't seem like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And every single time the universe has taken care of me and I'm very grateful for that. But I have to remind myself that when I stress out. So... Even if you've gone through something, right now you are in a great position. This is the end of a cycle and you're going towards much happier. This is a very strong energy. Something with the sun card. Let me see here. Wait a minute. Let me look at these two cards because I'm feeling an energy. I mean... I'm not really sure how to put this because I'm, I'm going to point this out and this is going to sound a little odd, but if you notice, it's a pure energy. This is a child with no clothes on. So it's just pure, pure, like youthfulness, pure, the innocence of a child. It's like not a care in the world. And this person is also, except for the little thing draped around, I guess it's a her. Um, so I'm feeling like you're feeling so much freer. You know, it's from child child to adult. It's like, it doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. This is going to be a time, this particular time, May and moving forward, that good things are coming your way. Good things are coming your way because it's the end of a chapter and now you're embarking on a brand new time of celebration. Good things are coming your way, Cancer. Oh, Lord, I sure hope so. <laughs> yes, I, it's been, there was a little section in there where it was good and then everything fell apart and it was like what just happened it was just every single thing and it's still happening so I'm, i know this is um may is mental health awareness month okay and i have decided on mondays if you want would like to join you know subscribe and join the tribe hit that bell icon button because i'm going to be doing uh, mental health mondays and i'm going to be doing readings and uh my intentions with those is to just help us through Whatever rough times we may be going through, whether we are depressed, have depressive times, or anxiety, or just ways of learning to cope, maybe, or messages that spirit can, can give us to help us through this these these times, you know? We all have our own issues with some, and, and most people, if not all people, have some sort of mental health. We all have demons. Nobody's better than another person. We all have it. But it's a good place to come and support each other, and I'd like to do it. But, um, so I'm going to do that Mental Health Mondays, and, um... Yeah, I think I'm going to need some of these readings. I'm also going to be doing shadow work. So if you're interested in that, you know, join the tribe and we can do that together too. But I want this place to be a place where we support each other, a safe place where there's no judging and people can come here and just be, you know what I mean? And so mental health awareness to me is important. 
and because I have my bouts of, of depression and I had definitely have anxiety um, and so I'd like to you know I'd like to do some readings get some energies and and have um, our higher masters help us through whatever we each are going through and we can share that together anyways so good times are coming cancer and um, you know enjoy enjoy because um, I know that things have probably most likely there's things that have maybe been I'm feeling the energy of difficult times you've gone through some difficult times at least for some of you some of us and um, so let's enjoy I'm hoping that May will be the month that the good stuff comes in okay thank you so much for joining whether you are returning uh, you're a subscriber whether you're new thank you so much for joining I appreciate and love you all and I love doing this so I would love to have those who aren't part of the tribe to be part of the tribe and join us and um you know again hit that bell icon if you subscribe hit that bell icon and when i do the um, updates and then the love reads you will know all right thank you so much thank you for joining i hope you have a wonderful month of may and i hope to see you again and thank god there were no glitches in this one so thank you so much i love you all Bye bye